Okay, um, there are certain items, certain options in Thetis which you can switch off from the front end here, like so, shut down. You'd expect it to be switched off, one would expect it to be switched off when you load it back up, but you'll find that it's not. And the reason for that is that certain items, certain settings, see it's on, get saved along with a profile, a transmit profile. So if I was to switch this off and then save this profile, come out of here, start it back up, you'll see that it will be switched off. like so. And if I switch it on now and I quit and restart, because that setting hasn't been stored against the profile, it will not be switched on when it uh, starts up. And this is a contentious, confusing issue that I don't really like with Thetis because so many people get confused why am I changing all my settings and they're not um, not getting stored and this is the main primary reason if you check this box here highlight items that are saved with the profile all these various things that just vanished because it had an update but uh, all these various things um, get stored and there are tons of them all over the place um, that get stored with the TX profile what it means is that you can have different setups different drivers in use in fact for audio for different profiles there are options here restore device details from profile so you could have a data transmit profile which used um, uh, virtual audio cables and that type of thing um, not headsets and stuff so yeah that's the primary reason why things don't get uh, saved uh, there are options here auto save TX profile on Thetis close you can have that switched on I've never tried this but one would think that if I've got that on and I now switch this switch that let's uh, actually this just turn that off and save this profile with it switched off and make sure that it comes back in the off state then what we'll do we'll switch that option on to auto save and then check this and quit and see what happens when we reload so transmit profile auto save profile on Thetis close and what we'll do we will well first off we we'll leave that off and we'll restart just to make sure it comes back I don't know if I hit apply actually or OK on that change setting Need to double check that. Setup, transmit, yes, so that's on. So what we'll do now is we'll turn this on, and technically, if that setting's working, it will update the TX profile, and therefore that VAC1 will be enabled. Haven't really tested this. But as you can see, there it is. And now if I switch that off and quit and restart. Then it should be off. Which it is. But I don't use this option because I mess about with so many things. I don't want it to be saved. And in fact, you can... Um, auto save on a change so you can change any of this stuff that's highlighted and it will uh, will save it to the profile as soon as you change it 
Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's one of the reasons. Uh, if you look into DSP, if we turn that on, uh, transmit profile, look in DSP here, all these are yellow, faint yellow. You can see how many different things are actually stored alongside uh, the profile. Things like equalizer settings, um, all sorts. So. Yeah, that's the main primary reason why settings are not stored. Uh, buffer size, transmit audio, buffer size. Now we've got this uh, switched off, so what I'll do, I'll go to audio, buffer size 512, hit OK. And if we now come back, it probably won't recover 512, it will recover 64, which is the value that was set in the profile, in the TX profile. Uh, Ragchu. So if we look at this, uh, audio buffer size is 64. However, if we have that option on, auto save, then it would have worked, or we could have hit save there. So if we go to audio. 512 transmit save okay shut this down restart then it should come up with uh, 512 And there it is. And this is the primary cause, this transmit profile system and this autosave system is the primary cause of uh, reports that things aren't doing what they're meant to be doing. So there we are. <laughs> but of course it could be, uh, could be a problem with the database um, or it could be some, uh, some strange uh, anomaly but uh, that's normally the cause of it. Anyway, cheers.